Hi guys, welcome back to my channel this week. In this week's video, I'm going to show you how I go about using my Distress Ink Pads to get a watercolor effect instead of using them as a uh, regular stamping pad. So if you want to see how I went about doing that, stay tuned. So the first thing that I wanted to show you is uh, how, what the colors look like when you lift them off the stamp pad with the watercolor brush. If you don't have a, water br a watercolor brush, you can go ahead and use just a regular um, paintbrush with some water like you would if you were just doing a regular watercolor painting. And basically just lift the paint off. Um, obviously the more that you rub the stamp pad with the bristles, the more ink is going to come off and the less you rub on the stamp pad, the less ink you're going to get. So pretty straightforward. Uh, so these are the colors that I have. Uh, this I bought these out of my own money quite some time ago. They were sitting on my desk. and. I I didn't know what to do with them because I don't use stamps and I thought this would be a good thing to try and uh, I really like the outcome. Now you can get a watercolor effect with these stamp pads. Um, they are ink. They do um, they they will lift if you um, put more water on them so they are not permanent when they are dry you can reactivate them that is the word I'm looking for you can reactivate them uh, so uh, if if you make a mistake you can clean it up just a little bit if they don't dry permanent like an ink tense block um, with that being said they are not as vibrant as ink tense blocks either um, they can pass as um, as vibrant as um, certain watercolors uh, the the only brand of watercolors that I use currently is the Koi watercolors. I do have aqua markers, but uh, there's a little bit of difference there. So they are uh, vibrant enough to get a neat little uh, painting. I wouldn't recommend using them for like huge paintings or anything, but if you're just sitting down and you want to paint a little flower like I'm doing here, perfect for that. Um, and they're, you can stack them and they're small so you can even possibly you know stuff them in a pencil case um, or a bag of some sorts and you can take them with you depending on how many that you have. Um, like I said I bought these with my own money. I believe they were somewhere in the range of I'm gonna say 10 to 15 dollars at the point that I bought them and I did purchase them. I believe from Michaels. It's been a very long time. Um, but like I said, they were sitting there. I don't use stamps. I'm not a scrapbooker, if that's even a word. Um, so I wanted to make use out of the materials that I bought, and I thought it would be great to go ahead and give this a try. And I really liked it. And I can say that I will use them again and even mix them up with some of my other mediums as well, like my Intense Blocks or my, um, my Intense, or my watercolor, uh, new colors. There we go. I am all over the place here today. <laughs> um, I just wanted to mention before I do go here that I am going on vacation in a couple of weeks and that is why videos are um, little to none here on my channel right now. It's very hard to work everything in at once and hopefully when I get back from vacation I will get back to a regular uh, scheduled upload and that would be every Friday. So I hope you guys are enjoying what videos are listed here on my channel for now and I hope you found this video interesting or useful of some sort and if you have please let me know. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching my video today. If you liked it don't forget to give me a thumbs up, comment down below, share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already to make sure you see my future videos. Until next time thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.